Can't wait till I spill my iced tea. Always good to have something to look forward to. Yep. <laughs> Always nice to have a goal, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we watched Kamen Rider Gaim. Great Soccer Battle of Golden Fruits Cup. I think that's right. That is correct. Wow. Kamen Com- Rider Gaim, <laughs> the movie Great Soccer Battle Golden Fruits Cup 2014. Directed by Osamu Kaneda, who, hmm. uh, aside from this, might be my least favorite Kamen Rider director. Because he's the guy who did Kamen Rider Ichigo, you know, where where they're oh. all hitting on the same schoolgirl and also mm. all pretending to be teachers yeah. at that school. Well, he didn't write the script, I hope. And Kamen Rider Ghost and Drive, where, where uh, they take a bath with a small child. Mm, yep, there's that one. And in both of those movies, most of the fights end with somebody falling down and then waking up later. Oh yeah, that yeah. happens a little bit too, I guess, but mostly explosions. It does? Well, I must have blacked out show. at those points. Mostly explosions in this movie. Okay. A lot of explosions. Uh, so many. Yeah, and this uh, film also was written by Jin Haganea, uh, who wrote Common Rider X, Common Rider, Drive and Gaim. Ah. Movie War Full Throttle. Yes. Nice. That's such a good one. That's Buckle up, God. Belt, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I like how you both went to the same moment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ah, Common Rider. So, <laughs> oh, I've just been going back to the podcast and listening to them again after I watch the movies. Nice. So, this starts with Common Rider Gaim. It doesn't it start with like a voiceover or something. Oh, I thought there was actually like a quick fight in the city. Oh yeah, there's a little voiceover. It talks about. Um, what the golden fruit does. Oh, yeah, golden fruit, very important. So then, yes, Kamen Rider Gaim is in the ruins of his city, right? Mm-hmm. Fighting some Inves and some evolved Inves. Yeah, he takes them out pretty easy. hmm Yep. And that's when a random young dude shows up. Yep. hmm And is like, what's that? Points at a soccer ball. And Gaim's like, it's soccer. You kick it around. There's a whole thing with goals, and you win or lose. Oh, and if you lose, you die? <laughs> no, no, dude, no. No, maybe you feel bad about it, but Jesus Christ. And the guy's like, wow, that's great. So it's a new form of battle where people don't have to die. And I love how Gaim just takes this all in stride. Right? Like... I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, yes, this is a perfectly normal conversation for us to have. Us well, com- considering how his life's been going. Yeah. 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 So, so the kid disappears. Guy wanders off after him and ends up in a soccer stadium. Yes. With a very small crowd on exactly one side of the stadium. <laughs> yes. But they're very enthusiastic. They, they are. are. They are. And uh, Common Rider Baron is now his opponent in a soccer game. Yes. Which he eventually wins by using Common Rider powers for soccer. He yes. kicks a ball practically through Common Rider Knuckles. <laughs> Repeatedly. <Twice. laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Knuckles. But also, putting him in goalie is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, not that good. Well. Yeah, you should have spread out them big hands a bit more. <laughs> I mean, Wouldn't have to be fair, him. the soccer ball hit him square in the chest. Yeah. He just flew back with the soccer ball. True. Wait, does that actually count as a goal? Well, yes. It bounced off of him. Oh, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, I, long story short, if the goalie has the soccer ball and falls into the goal, it still counts as a goal. Okay. All right. Okay. At least somebody knows. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy wearing the Tour de France t-shirt. I would know soccer rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's our resident jock. That's saying a lot, I guess. <laughs> soccer is the one with the bicycles, right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, <laughs> okay, let's make, no, that's, make 100% that's sure horse on that. polo. <laughs> Don't ask. Horse polo is played with bicycles. Yep. That makes sense. <laughs> it does. There's exploding horses in this. <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, okay, so 
Gaimwin soccer, and he's still confused as to why there's soccer and the city's fixed, instead of being destroyed by the forces of Helheim. Well, Helheim invasion, um, the fruit starts growing on everything, and it makes buildings crumble pretty fast. Um, you get to Helheim through zippers in the sky, or, uh, or just, like, in front of you. Okay. So it's like in um, that last Common Rider movie where um, uh, zippers would open in, like, alleys and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Something like that happens in our world, but it's very different. So, um... <laughs> so he's confused. Uh, he runs into the kid again at some point, right? Yeah, right after the soccer match, basically. <laughs> and then there are weird little bugs... And then yes. a couple of characters I don't recognize turn into common riders, uh, get beat up, and then like uh, dissolve. Yes. Yes. And someone is collecting their their whatever into a what are those locks seed locks a lock seeds lock, lock seeds, seeds yeah. uh, of a what is it called again? It's the golden fruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> I was very tired watching this. I slept a little, not as much as during Kiva, but I slept a little. All right, so after some of the lock seeds are, well, some of the common riders dissolve into the lock seeds. It's basically one of the other opposing common rider factions and Gaim blaming the kid that Gaim found in the city for killing off question mark the Gaim, the common riders they confront the kid and then something else happens uh somebody attacks the kid and gets dissolved yes and then something uh is that the events of this movie are very confusing, uh, fast-paced, and is this when the armies face off against each other? Yeah, well, close enough. Yeah, they just start That's shooting each thing. other all of a sudden. So, who has armies? Oh, it's the bugs that make them do it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. There are, we get these little close-up shots of these basically Kamen Rider crickets mm -hmm. um, that we find out later are driving the Kamen Riders. <laughs> drive. Uh to follow their desire to just attack each other. Common Rider Drive was not in this, but I was thinking of it. That's why I left. Okay. Um, meanwhile, so some of them gather armies somehow. Yeah. Well, the one guy has a military background. Yeah. He, he did have an army of his own. And so this, this battle commences between, like, dudes with guns and Flying hover cycles and giant watermelon robots. And uh, Kamen Rider Durian arms and Kamen Rider Melon arms face off against each other. Great. And then Kamen Rider Baron comes along because he can't stand the idea of there being a fight and him not being in it. Yeah. Um, and then it's like Kamen Riders kicking the crap out of each other everywhere and their machine guns. And what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this scene is impossible to describe, but amazing to oh, yeah, behold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's great. Just constant fucking chaos. So... There's some, like, POV shots down the barrel of a gun. Yeah. Uh, RPGs fired at the uh, hover bike people. Yeah. Bicycles running into the army people. Or, sorry, motorbikes bicycles. running into bicycles. <laughs> Motorcy motorcycles yeah. riding into bicycles. So... Um, Meanwhile, Gaim is on a bridge, talking with Yuma? You oh, right. His dead friend, who is now back, who is actually a being created from an attempt to duplicate the golden fruit. Yes. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get this far, and I was really confused as to what that guy was doing back, because he um, disappears in the first episode, and later on... Gaim finds out that he killed him without knowing who he was. Okay. But there he is. Yeah, but it's not him. No, it's not. <laughs> so most of the common riders get dissolved. Yes. And then more common riders show up. 
Yes? Now, one of these common Riders is uh, one of the rare female common Riders. Yes. Uh, common Rider Marika, played min- by Minami Tsukoi, hmm. uh, who's in Geisha Assassin, which is a weird, low-budget martial arts Japanese film. Huh. Really good fight scenes, actually. No plot getting in the way of the story whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's got peach arms. Yeah. There's uh, one common Rider I didn't pick up on, common Rider Ryugen. Do you know which one that is? Mm. It's probably Grape. Because only Grape and Melon have, like, actual Japanese names for their... Okay. As and, the main ones, anyway. Yeah, and uh, he's played by Mahiro Takasuki from the film I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Okay. With some nice fava beans. I would prefer not. And a nice Kiani. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah. Some fava beans and a nice Kiani. Um, okay. They're also, like, three real soccer players in the movie for some reason. That's true. Forgot about them. Don't worry. Don't so did the movie. To to the soccer. Yeah. I was hoping they'd show up in the final battle or I something, but no. Nah, no. Nah. Um, so where are we at? I Golden want to fruit. eat your pancreas. Yeah. <laughs> Golden fruit guy... Is no <laughs> mm, something something now they're in a warehouse. Yeah, with... golden fruit guy has golden fruit arms now. Mm hmm. It yeah. looks pretty cool. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gaim was fighting golden fruit guy on the bridge and lost, so now he is dark guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, because all the, the, the dissolving stuff doesn't kill him like it kills the others, it just makes him evil. Yes. yes. So. so now he's fighting like the other new, well, not new, but new to this movie, Common Riders. Yes, even though they should have been dissolved, Common Rider Peach and Baron. Who did she save? I don't know. Uh, and then Zangatsu. They work together. Okay. Oh yes, and then Kiwi's there too. In this warehouse fight. All right. Grape turns into Kiwi, doesn't he? Uh, oh yeah, he has those big like yeah, yeah. big circular blade things that yes. he can't move very well, but they look cool. <laughs> they do. And every now and then you're like, oh, that's a cool move with that. Impractical, but it looked nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so more battling. And then the oh, at some point we found out who the mysterious kid was. He's another one of the overlords from Helheim who. Is, um, I guess, trying to keep people from fighting over the golden fruit or something like that. He, he's tired of people killing each other, so he wants them to play soccer. So he he created this like dream world. Yeah, where they could play soccer, but they just started killing each other anyway. Because human beings are fucked up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So doesn't he turn into a common rider too? Yes. Late. Sir, towards the very end. Okay. Yes. Right now, he has to be convinced that Gaim is fighting to protect the goodness in humanity, not because he himself is evil. Even though Gaim is evil now. So he goes well, to, to see Gaim in the misty part of his brain. And there's a dark Gaim there, so um, Ko, Ko, Koata punches dark Gaim in the face, and then he's already out. Yeah, he proves that he's not, like, violent and hateful by punching a dude to death in the face because that dude is himself and is the evil part of him. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> this is around the time I start dozing off a little bit here and there. That's, I keep right. it together for the most part, though. Well, yeah, there's some very cool fights that go on. Yeah. So, um, they all uh, beat up on Golden Fruit because now it's 4v1. And then Golden Fruit turns Gets into horse. turns into locusts, takes them all to a different location. Then, um, uh, uh, yeah, basically, then he gets a horse. Uh huh. Yeah. I think he makes it out of himself. And the locusts. And the lo- locusts. Right? And then the Overlord gives Gaim a horse, a horse, and fruit basket transformation. I thought he already like. Had it? No, this yeah. was before he got that. Oh, he only okay. got that when he became a god. Okay, okay. So, so it's kind of a flash forward deal. Is this when they get all of the dudes back from No, this is after 
uh, guy on horseback turns into a fire dragon, right? Yes. Well, they had this wonderful horse chase through the woods where they were attacking each other, and then all of a sudden, a uh, golden fruit and his horse jump over Gaim, so Gaim shoots up, and they both explode into locusts, and then reform back into... By both you fire. mean the, the bad guy and the horse. And, yes. Gaim does not explode into locusts. No. Then they reform into the giant horse? Yes. Because the explosion also kicked out all the other common riders. It's kind of a powers. Pegasus unicorn dragon made out of fire. Okay. And This six, is pretty wicked. Six stories tall? <laughs> yeah. At least about, yeah. maybe ten. This is another situation where it just sounds like we are ranting fucking lunatics. I can't help it, man. Common Rider's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> In between all this plot is awesome fight choreography. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah lots of, uh, lots of, I'm not going to say foreground, background, midground fights, but like, like, like just clusters of fights. Yes. In yes. places. At least two or three clusters. And you're like, I can't, I have to pick one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or I guess I have to pick a favorite. You. <laughs> And then you. as soon as you pick one, it explodes. So you're like, okay, maybe this one. <laughs> yes. And then, like, uh, Gaim hits him with a blow that makes everybody he'd absorbed into his black seed come back. And then they all fight him. Yeah, they, they all get... Including the kid. They, they all get their lock seeds and turn into common riders. So just the, the, the kid who is an overlord... And then he's like, oh, hey, that's Golden Fruit's true form. So let me show you my true form, which is a fucking soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, see, Golden Fruit's true form includes a soccer net behind him. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, the, the kid who was one of the Dark Overlords turns into a soccer ball, which they kick around the field. While uh, fighting flame demon things? Yes. Yeah. And eventually kick him into the goal and defeat the bad guy. Yes. And then the dream sequence is done. Not quite. First the, um, oh, what's his fucking name? I don't know his name. The DJ. Oh, that fucking guy. Oh. He's like a video, he's a VJ. Um, he comes on, he shows up in a hologram, like one of them ghosts from Star that's, Trek? Trek? Wars. That's him Wars. in the hologram? <laughs> Obi. Yes, with the big scarf, that's him. Oh. And, oh, um, he, I'll take your word for it. He tells the kid some stuff, and then the kid disappears. I think mm. that's how it went. And then the dream is over, and he has to go back to killing monsters. Gaim has to go Gaim back, has back to, to go back to killing monsters. And, and uh, the Dark Overlord kid uh, thanks him for teaching him soccer. Uh-huh. Yeah. And... It's sort of implied that this is, like, a good thing for the universe, but maybe not. Honestly, I doubt this is ever going to come up again. Yeah, soccer didn't really, um, didn't really help much with the whole aggressive asshole part of humanity, so... <laughs> you know footballers. They have a stigma. Yeah. So this movie is nonsense... Oh, yeah. But it's enjoyable nonsense. It is an hour long. It's so much fun. And it is, it is a ton of fun. And complete gibberish. Yes, yes if but you that's get, part of the fun. If you get yeah. lost in the plot, eh, don't worry. There's don't a fight worry. scene in about three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in another explosion in three, two, yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And three, two, one. That was all explosions. Yeah. Yeah, that first one's finally maybe stopping now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really love the whole entire Gotten TV show. So um, I'm sitting there explaining these characters to these guys. Thank like, you for huh? that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I still didn't understand any of it, but, you know. It helped. It helped way more than uh, our normal Kamen Rider viewing experience mm -hmm. and understanding. Yeah. Well, Tommy has my copy of the set, and I think... I think he hasn't even started watching it yet, so... <laughs> I need to finish up Forza and yeah. get it back. So, yeah, this was... This was an experience. An experience I recommend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Enjoyable. Uh, just do not expect to understand it. You don't really need to. 
That's true, because it is a dream episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think of it as like a surrealist piece, you know? It's not about uh, the story, it's about the experience. And it's a damn good experience. Oh, yeah. It's like Bunuel, you know? It's like you're watching uh, Unchain on Delu. It's almost the exact same experience as that. Okay, now you're just fucking with us. 